This is the internet. After four years, he says he was ready for 13 to be Final Fantasy's lucky number. But after dropping the big bucks on the game and the collector's edition guide, he says this supposed masterpiece on the streets was actually just a hallway simulator with no gameplay and bad story and characters between the sheets. And this is the defendant. He's a PR guy from Square Enix, and he's representing them on behalf of Final Fantasy XIII. He didn't even work there when the game came out, but he says even though the game wasn't perfect, it was still very polished and fun, and brought tons of modern new ideas to the table. This game stands accused of selling us little more than a glorified 10-hour tutorial. And today, court-appointed attorney Gerard the Completionist Khalil is here to defend it. Defend it! All rise, Internet Court is now in session with the Honorable Judge Jesse Cox presiding. Please come to order and find me on Twitter if you want to play Heroes of not the Storm. Not the time, Ted. Okay, well, you're not even a real judge, so I don't know if you uh, can really touch oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to kill it. You're, you're going to kill it. Keep, keep going. Anyway, you losers have already taken up too much of my time, so uh, we got a game to put on trial here. Uh, Mr. Internet? Internet? You may proceed. Thank you, Your Honor. First things first, I'd like to call up Mr. Jerry Becker to the stand. Jerry Becker? Who the fuck? Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, and to get burgers and shakes with me after this is all said and done? What? You have to say yes to the whole thing, sir. Ted! Okay, you got me. You got me. Sorry about that, Mr. Becker. Eh. Great. Now, will you tell everyone what you do for a living? Uh, sure. I'm a licensed general contractor in the state of California. I generally oversee, handle, and coordinate construction jobs, mainly in remodeling and home building. But I do like to build a couch. Great. So if there's anybody who would recognize a hallway when they saw one, it'd be you, right? Yeah, I'd say so. Perfect. So now take a look at this. Okay, I, uh, Do you know what this is? Uh, uh, that is an actual map that got passed around on forums and blogs back when Final Fantasy XIII first came out in 2009, showing the path you take through the first six or so hours of the game. Uh-huh. So? So? So does it look like a hallway or not, Jerry? Does it? I mean, I... Does it look like a hallway or not? Yeah, I, I mean... Sure, I can see it. And uh, what is it you're seeing, Jerry? Remember? Like we talked about? What is it, Jerry? A hallway, a hallway, it's a hallway. It's narrow, it's direct, and you go from point A to point B through it. Or at least that's how it looks. I, I, I'm just not a gamer. Okay, God. Boom, see? Nailed it, Jerry. Now, I'd like you to take a look at this other map from the first area in the much better Final Fantasy XV. Yeah, okay, but only because it's my civic duty. Whatever. Now, would you say this one's also a hallway, or would you call it more like a room or a chamber? Uh, guess a chamber. Uh, sorry, did I just hear you say a ah, chamber? Yeah. And why do you say that, Jerry? What makes it a big, fun, open room instead of a hallway? Well, it uh, looks like there's a lot more stuff for you to do. Uh, really? Uh, plus, you know, it looks like there's lots of people to talk to and a bunch of places that you don't necessarily have to visit. Seems like it would be a lot more fun to have a couple choices about what I was gonna do in the game, you know? You know, I think you're hitting the nail right on the head there, Jer. Can I call you Jer? Uh, sure. Awesome as hell! Thanks, Jer! Anyway, it's a really just so funny, because if you go poke around online, and believe me, <laughs> I do that all the time. You'll see that this is exactly the big problem everyone has with Final Fantasy XIII, Jer. It's supposed to be a role-playing game where you get to choose how your characters interact with the events of the story, and you progress at your own pace. 
But in FF13, there's barely any side quests, next to no exploration, or even any towns really. And there's maybe 10% as many NPCs to talk to as usual. So unless you're down with playing the exact same role as everyone else playing the game, all we're saying is, maybe don't. Objection, your honor, this is a court of law. You can't just tell people to not play the game. That's not a freaking case. Sustained. Uh, do you have anything else, Mr. Internet? Is this just one of your arguing because I'm anonymous on the internet without any facts and trying to convince people because I'm a big dummy and I have a logic? Shtick. Damn! Roasted! Oh, uh, just, sorry. <laughs> just one more thing, your honor. Here, Jerry. You're a reading man, right, Jerry? Good. Well, then would you mind reading this actual real quote I highlighted for you from the game's director and scenario writer, Motomu Toriyama, for us? Okay, uh, it says here, It led to players feeling like the majority of the game was a tutorial. I believe this was a big flaw in the game. Huh. So the director of the game thinks the linearity was a huge flaw, huh? Well, let me ask you this, Jerry. You're a construction guy, right? You've been on a, on a lot of jobs? Oh, absolutely. I've been on over 150 different job sites, and those are just ones I've taken lead on. Okay, and would you say that something you made had a big flaw if you thought it was a huge success? Uh, no. I probably would not. He probably would not. Great. Mr. Completionist? But this is yours. If you can handle it. Your Honor, may I begin my cross-examination, please? Go ahead, boy, ain't your daddy? But you are the judge. Oh, uh, <laughs> you may proceed. Mr. Becker, I'd like uh, to- please. It's chair. Really? Yeah. Fine, whatever. Jer, could you do me a favor and please read the line before the quote you just read for the courtroom? From the uh, interview? Yeah. Sure. Uh, this approach had a great advantage in providing players with enough time to become familiarized with the new battle system and the unique world. Huh. Sorry. What was that, Internet? No, no nothing, Your Honor. Your Honor! The point I'm making is that no one is trying to say that Final Fantasy XIII has absolutely zero flaws. All I'm saying is that when you take a step back and look at the sum of its parts, it might actually be possible that the good outweighed the bad, and that actually the 73 positive reviews that left it with a respectable 83% on Metacritic might not be wrong. I mean, that's a pretty high average for a game that totally sucks. Right, Jer? Absolutely. Okay, so I'm gonna show you something real quick, and then you're gonna tell me what you think you saw, okay? There! Did you see that, Jerry? Uh-huh. And... It looked like that map from the, uh, better Final Fantasy he showed me earlier. Fifteen or whatever. It did, didn't it? But what if I told you that it was actually a map from Grand Pulse, aka the giant room, at the end of Final Fantasy XIII? and that it has tons of stuff to do, and people to talk to, places to explore, you can spend hours there questing, grinding, and doing challenges, and pretty much everything a JRPG fan could ask for? That sounds pretty good, right? <laughs> I, uh, right? Uh, you know, to be honest, I wouldn't really be able to tell you either way. Oh, you wouldn't. And why not, Jer? Uh, because I don't know a thing about video games. In fact, I'm beginning to suspect I'm just here to be a, a punchline for a hallway joke. Huh. Right. So what do hallways have to do with video games? Uh, nothing, I think. Exactly! No further questions! I don't follow. Doesn't matter. Prosecution rests, Your Honor. What?! Really?! No freaking way! Okay, you know what? That's fine. Just let me say one last thing before I call my witness to the stand. Whatever.
Your Honor, reducing this game to a poor analogy about a building or whatever is reductive and unfair. It completely ignores anything about game design in favor of a silly joke from an old internet sketch. And I don't know about you, but I say let's finally let that seven-year-old joke die and focus on some real facts for once. Your Honor, I'd like to call Michael, the Square Enix PR guy, to the stand, please. Let's be honest, I'm just looking for a friend, and that's the truth, so help me God. Um... I do? Whatever, I'll take it. Mr. Khalil, you may begin questioning your witness. Thank you, Your Honor. How, uh, how you doing over there, Mr. Internet? You doing okay? Feeling okay? As okay as all the bad dialogue in Final Fantasy XIII. Oh, are you serious right now? Oh, are you serious right now? <clears throat> Bitch! Your Honor, this is exactly the blind hate that I'm talking about. Does that feel good? Does it feel good to get your game roasted, Michael? No, I can't say that it does, Gerard. I bet. In fact, I'd say that it feels pretty bad. That sucks, man. That really does suck. But I got something for you. Hey, Ted, roll the tape. Got it. Uh... Do you know what this is, Michael? I sure do, Gerard. This is Final Fantasy IV, first released in July of 1991 for the Super Famicom, though it's been released many, many times on many different platforms since then. Uh, great. And, uh, what's the deal with that little white line there on the battle screen? Oh, that's one of Final Fantasy IV's most important innovations, the ATB meter. It changed the whole series' battle system from a turn-based model to a much more active version that feels much closer to real time based on each character's speed and attack formation. That's, uh... That's a little more than I needed to know, but fine. Would you say that that's a good example of a Final Fantasy game finding success through innovation? Oh, absolutely. Final Fantasy IV's ATB system, fleshed out characters, and unconventional story are precisely what helped it stand out from the pack. Right, and isn't it true that people are constantly calling it one of the best video games of all time, saying that it's a masterpiece, even though it totally diverged from past entries in tons of different ways? Well, sure, I guess, but everyone already knows Final Fantasy IV is awesome. I thought we were talking about Final Fantasy XIII. Oh, we are, Michael, we are. And that's precisely why I need you to tell the courtroom what these are. Well, I'd say that these are all the sales figures for different games in the Final Fantasy franchise, Gerard. Great, Michael, great. Now, could you read for the court what the total worldwide sales are for Final Fantasy IV? Why, it says close to 4.5 million, Gerard. That is a lot. Now, Michael, can you do me a favor and read what it says for the total sales of Final Fantasy XIII? <gasps> it says 7.7 million, Gerard. 7.7 .7 million! Ha! That's over one and a half times more! <laughs> now I know there's probably a lot of factors that keep these numbers from being directly comparable, but it seems like a lot of people really love both games, right? Sure does. I mean, we did make two sequels, you know. Gotta be doing something right, huh? Okay, okay sure, yeah, we're not gonna... We're not talking about that right now. The point is... Millions of people wouldn't support a franchise spanning four or five years if everyone thought the games totally sucked. I mean, come on, Mikey, help me out here. What were some of the good things people said about Final Fantasy XIII? Um, let's see, I'm just going off the top of my head here, but 1UP.com said Final Fantasy XIII's battles may be the most involving the series has ever seen, and Edge rated them as among the genre's finest. Uh-huh. Wired Magazine called the soundtrack a score with catchy hooks and blood-pumping melodies. Edge said the game was blessed with a vibrancy and vivid color that often leaves you open mouth, and it was nominated for Best RPG of the Year at the Spike Video Game Awards. Wow. And all that from memory, huh? Yeah, it lost the VGA to Mass Effect 2, but hey, not everyone can be given a free pass by the internet. Hey! Okay, but Mass Effect 2 is super good, though. Oh, definitely. It does not need to be undefended, that's for sure. No way. No way. No way. No way. The point is that I'm not going to sit here and try and convince you that Final Fantasy 13 is the greatest game of all time. It's not. 
Only time will tell if people will look back and think about it again in years to come. But that's not really something I can control, is it, Michael? That is a big N.O., Gerard. What I am trying to show this court, though, is that while the game is not perfect, it absolutely doesn't totally suck. There's plenty of reviews out there that'll show you that. But with the genre as personal to some people as JRPGs are, anything good I could say about this game might as well be coming from the mouth of a PR guy anyway. Because otherwise, only you can truly know what you enjoy. And if you want to believe in memes and jokes over facts and reviews, then don't be upset when someone disagrees with your opinion. Wow, good speech, Gerard. I've got a really good feeling about this one. Me too, buddy. Me too. Mr. Internet, the witness is now yours. Ah, oh, thank you, Mr. Pleasionist. Your Honor. Carry on, sweet boy. Thank you, Your Honor. Now tell me, Mr. Enix, if that is your real name, do you usually buy games before? Or after you play them? Well, I gotta be honest and say before on this one. So don't you think, let's see, mm, a higher sales number could be linked to an outrageous amount of hype that was generated for a, uh, mm, I don't know, how do I say this, a generally bad video game? Well, I guess it's possible, but... BOOM! No further questions, your honor! What you think about me now, completionist? Ugh. I put P in your name. I know. Oh, harsh! Damn, Gerard! Is there anything I can give you for that monumental burn? The, the defense rests, Your Honor. Get off me! Order! Order! Hey! Hey! Ted. Oh my god, you see what happened? <laughs> You're amazing, Jesse! That's not even what I wanted to hear from you, but I'll take it. All right, Mr. Internet, you may proceed with your closing statement. Savage, Your Honor. Ladies and gentlemen of the audience, thank you so much for being here today. Anyway, the fact of the matter is, we can't just go around saying that every game that tries something new is a freaking masterpiece. I know, it's easy to forget since I'm so convincing in this good-looking human-shaped costume I wear, but I represent millions of actual real opinions out there, and as fresh and different and neat as everything was, in the end, throwing out everything we loved about one of our favorite series doesn't earn you a gold star if what you replace it with isn't good. And you know what isn't good in Final Fantasy XIII? A lot! Just type in FFXIII sucks into YouTube and hit search! Y'all know the stuff! It's way too linear! The story barely makes sense! The battle system is weird! Hope is super annoying! And as big as Grand Pulse is, separating the exploration and questing from the world 90% of the game takes place in, misses the whole point! Yes, there's some stuff that worked, and yes, I'm glad that stuff exists. But you know how they say if you throw enough poop at a wall, some of it's bound to stick? Well, sometimes that's true, but other times, all you really end up with is a bunch of poop on a wall. Wait for it. On a wall. In a hallway. Boom, baby! Full circle. Can I get a high five? Where's Jer when you need him? Jer- Wait, where is Jerry? Where's Jer? Did you see him leave? Where's my witness? Where is my witness? Did he get an Uber? Did somebody- Did somebody not see him leave? Go get his- Get his Uber or Lyft or whatever the kids are doing. Thank you, Mr. Internet. Uh, Mr. Completionist, you may present your closing arguments. You know it, Your Honor. Now, ladies and gentlemen at home, I'm going to share something with you that's a little personal, and I want you all to not freak out, just breathe and relax. I am not a critic. I'm just not. I beat games 100% for a living, and I do a little public defending of video games on the side. But don't misunderstand me. I'm not doing this because I have some magical answer for you that's going to convince you with hard evidence that you're wrong and that Final Fantasy 13 is perfect and that you should drop everything and play through it beginning to end right this second. What I can do though is recognize when people are having too much fun slow roasting a game for the same things over and over until it's an infinite feedback loop. 
take a step back and look at this game for what it is instead of what the internet decided they wanted it to be, like I did. And you'll find a game that does some things the same and does some things differently, just like all of the other Final Fantasies. And if you get past the story, which really only makes up a small fraction of the playtime if you actually do all the stuff at the end of the game that people say is missing, it still feels as much like a proper Final Fantasy as any of them. Yes, admittedly, I enjoyed my time with Final Fantasy 13 a little more than a lot of you probably did. For God's sakes, I f***ing put in 100 hours plus. But Final Fantasy 13 is just one of many games whose whole reputation is decided by whoever's bad review is the most memeable. And it's for all of their sakes, not just Final Fantasy 13, that I'm here before you in this courtroom today. I love video games, and hopefully you guys do too. So before we all get together and condemn this game to the never-ending amount of hateful posts and listicles out there, let's ask ourselves this really important question. Is there nothing good about Final Fantasy 13, Or are we just going to have that one negative opinion about the game and refuse to change based on that opinion? Regardless of any of this, the real ultimate choice is yours. Now that we've heard from both sides, it's up to you who wins the case. Is Final Fantasy 13 really the pile of poop in the hallway the internet says it is? Or is it a decent game who's merely the victim of a community who took a bad opinion and repeated it until it almost became fact? Click the box on the left if you agree with the internet. Or if you think Gerard's right, go ahead and click the one on the right. I might still think Lightning is the most boring video game character of all time, but hey, not my fight. We'll see who won at the sentencing.